Hey, JNM here with a new Unigine tutorial about c -sharp programming for beginners. Let's start by creating a new project with the Unigine Community Edition. I set the template to empty, the language is c -sharp Core, and the version of the Unigine Community Edition is 2.11.0.1. The title of the project are set to Simple Controller Demo CS. Then I press this button to create a new project. This will take a while. And then I press this button to open the project in the Unigine editor. This is the empty project, which is not really empty. We have quite a few models in the level and when I start it, you see that there is a first-person controller active so that we can move around in the scene. The first thing I do is to find this first-person controller node in the world nodes to deactivate it. Here it is, the first person controller and I press the F key to focus it in the scene. And now let's go ahead and press this edit button so that we can see the script that is attached and I click this checkbox to disable the component. So let's have a look which models, which nodes we have in the scene that we can control with an own c -sharp script. For example, this one, I move it a bit to the right. Ok, so let's start the game and see if this node is visible by the camera, which is still attached to the first person controller, but the controller script, as you know, is disabled. And yeah, this looks good, we can go with that. Ok, so let's create a C-sharp script somewhere in the project in a folder. I right click and choose create C sharp component. I call it simple controller. Then I select the node and press F to focus it. And then I drag the C sharp script onto the node to assign it to this node. You can see it in the parameters of the node and then I click this little icon to open it in the editor and this is Visual Studio Code. Ok, this is the C sharp class simple controller derived from component and the first thing I do is to add some member variables to control the speed of the movement and the speed of the rotation, I call it turn speed. The controller logic we add to the method update, which is invoked for every frame. First I get the i fps value, which is the time in seconds it took to complete the last frame. In Unity this is called delta, which is perhaps a bit more intuitive because it's the time between the current and the previous frame, ok, a delta. We use this to create a linear movement of the node. It is to make it time, but not frame dependent. You will see this in a moment. So let's get the forward direction of the node. This can be done by using the method getWorldDirection. And now we can check which key is pressed. For this you can use the method isKeyPressed and if it is the up key, you see I want to control the node with the cursor keys, I multiply the forward direction of the node with the IFPS and the speed and add this value to the current world position of the node. And by multiplying with the IFPS I create a linear movement that is independent of the current frame rate. Ok, now we have to copy this code and adjust it for the other cursor keys. The first one is key down and for this I'm subtracting the value from the world position instead of adding it. And then comes the logic for key left, the left cursor key. And for this I have to rotate the node. So I use the method rotate to rotate it around the set axis with the turn speed multiplied by the IFPS value. And the same we do by copy and pasting this for the right cursor key. And for this of course we are rotating in the other direction. So add this minus here. 
Alright, and this is the whole script, so let's go ahead and start the game. Okay, it works. The node can be rotated and moved as expected. We used public parameters for the turn speed and the movement speed, so these can be changed in the editor. You can also keep these private and set the attribute show in editor for the private fields. But I will explain this in one of the next tutorials. I changed the values for the speed and the turn speed in the editor and start again. And here you can see it is really fast. Perhaps a bit too fast, but you can set it as you like. Ok guys, that's it for this tutorial for c -sharp programming for beginners with the Unigine Community Edition. Please tell me if you like it and if you want to see more, for example a C++ tutorial. So thanks for watching, if you have any questions add these to the comments below, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, support me by being my patron, this would be great and I see you soon in the next one on JNM. Don't forget to subscribe.